Hey, hey everyone. It's been a while since I've had a chance to do any videoing. I've been so busy with all the plants. So anyways, little update. Let's take a look at our garden wall. So we're going to take a walk through. These are Barb's absolutely beautiful wildflowers. A glorious mix. In here we have some form of lettuce or green starting to grow. <laughs> These fellows here are Tiny Tim tomatoes that actually came from seeds that I saved from Tiny Tim tomatoes that my neighbor grew last year. Ah, more fabulous lettuce. I do believe this is the stuff that's going to be yellow with red stripes. Really cool. Oh, look, snow peas. They were on the top but they've moved into a bigger container and they are very happy. Ah, Chinese five pepper, <clears throat> five color peppers, and they are so cool. I'm gonna see if I can try and get in so you can see one of these little fellas. They're kind of hard to see. We'll get a better look when we get over the other ones, but they are gorgeous and they're gonna have peppers all over them. Ha ha, look at these beauties. These, as the little signs behind say, Matchbox peppers, huge shout out to Tina and Arthur over at Emmerdale Organics. Both the five color peppers and the matchbox are from them and they are glorious. These little beauties are going to turn brilliant red and it will be loaded with them. Ah, these pretty little plants are Principe Borghese tomatoes, sun-dried tomato specialties from Italy, dwarf variety. Hopefully very good for growing here. Ha ha ha! Love these guys. Yes, he knows I had to stand back. Summer Sunrise Tomatoes, a glorious yellow tomato with a pink <laughs> burst on its bud. Also from Emmerdale Organics. I will put the link down below. Beautiful, hearty, lovely, lovely plant. Very nice. Okay, pepper plant. Ah, truth is I have no idea. It could be a red chili pepper that I saved from chilies I bought at the Asian food store could be a yellow pepper. I honestly don't know. I'll know when it starts to do something. And these little fellows, oh, they got some cold damage, but they are getting back on their feet. I'm so proud of them. Gateway tomato, a small pickling tomato, dwarf variety. So it'll climb up and whoop, along the lattice. So that's those guys here. Let's take a look elsewhere. Now we've picked up, we've moved over to Barb's deck. So we are using her little greenhouse inside are a whole pile of romaine lettuces and basil and some really adorable oregano that's growing like little trees it's quite cool barb is also the custodian of the glorious nasturtiums the marigolds the pansies and a mountain of fresh herbs and other things now let's take a moment over and check out the courtyard which is so fun because this is our new place to grow food Oh look, along the railing here, really lovely broadleaf parsley, some garlic chives that are finding their feet, and some smaller leaf parsley. And then let's come and check out this section. Oh, this is our sandwich section. <laughs> it has all kinds of tomatoes. So we've got the tiny Tims, we've got the garden pearl and summer sunrise. We have a bowl of romaine lettuce. We have more romaine lettuce and endive. We've got cucumbers growing in the back and some of other form of lettuce. Not really sure what kind, but I'm sure it'll be good. Mm, this is our salad dressing section. This is where we have some more lettuce, but lots of herbs. So in the top, some basil and parsley down here. Lots of cilantro, more parsley, some dill in the back. Looking good. And my favorite section is the pepper section, hooray. I know, you all spotted that right away too. Mm, look, this is probably a pepper that is growing from a seed that I saved from a pepper that I got from my veggie guy. Don't really know what it is, but I'm sure it'll be wonderful. These are Criolla cellas getting ready to have their first peppers. Oh, look, it's a little purple pepper from the Chinese five pepper, five color peppers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really enjoy seeing them. And then over here, more matchbox peppers, more five color peppers, barbed sweet banana peppers, all kinds of good things. And then into the back, the rest of the seedlings that are getting grown to go into our garden plots and to get given away. 
So we've been able to give away seedlings to a youth outreach program, to Blooming House, to a number of families who have needed them. And we've still got a lot more to give away. So it's a lot of fun. And last but not least, I have been so negligent on giving anybody an update on the Haskett berry bushes. They are really slow and they've really been deeply neglected. But as you can see, they're actually starting to form little leaves and do little wonderful things. And they're starting to grow. Not by anything I've done. Quite honestly, I have neglected the heck out of them and I have used them to anchor my greenhouse, I am very embarrassed to say. But they are growing, yay them, and I will, I'm not going to take them out of the ground just yet. I did repot everyone and give it more food and water just about three weeks ago. So I'm going to leave them now because they're finally getting a bit of sun and they're finally getting a chance to grow because I'm not using them as doorstops anymore. All right, <laughs> hope everybody's okay. I'm not going to open the big greenhouse because everybody's just snuggled in today and having a good day. Oh, so many lettuces. I hope everybody out there is okay. I know this is a longer than normal video, but I just wanted to get everybody caught up and I wanted to spend some time with you. So, <sighs> big deep breath. Take care everyone. We will talk again soon. Bye.